Greetings from Southern Yankee Homestead. If this is your first time, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Well, this has been a while coming. If you remember a video or two ago, depending on where this one falls, I was using an axe with the wood chipper to split the branches and feed it through the wood chipper. The reason I was doing that is because, well, chainsaws can be a pain in the butt to start. And, you know, starting it every couple minutes just to cut a little bit of wood just doesn't make sense. So, I went ahead and purchased a new chainsaw. Yep, you see that right? It's a Greenworks. Now, understand, I got the Greenworks originally for the rototiller, and I got it more specifically because it's what was available. All of the battery-powered chainsaws were unavailable at Lowe's, Home Depot. I wasn't even going to bother with Harbor Freight. It's way too far out. But Tractor Supply had the Greenworks, had it in stock. So we're going with Greenworks so that we have interchangeable batteries. But this will be the uh, first time opening it up. So let's see what we got. So this is literally as far as I've been before. All right, we got a charger, big surprise there. And we got a scrunch. Looks like bar and chain oil and holy smokes, it looks like mineral oil. One battery, five amp hour. Our last one was four amp and a two and a half amp. So we're building. I have no idea what that's for. That's destruction manuals. We're not going to read those anyways. And the saw itself. Important. Engage, disengage. It's got a chain break. So, looks like a chainsaw. Let's see what we got. And I'm curious, where'd this wrench go? All right, if you're wondering, a standard scrunch will fit on this. Perfect. So I don't have to have the specific one for this. You can use a standard one. We're going to let that charge, and we got our uh, we got our four amp hour battery. Hmm, you take you. We're going to use this mineral spirits that they have here. Yeah? Wow. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to be using that right now. That's That entire bottle didn't even make a dent in that. All right, let me go get some real bar chain oil. Let's see how bad this is once we get... Good Lord. I will say this much, it's heavy. Power is just sitting here flashing at me. There we go. Holy smokes. I'm sorry I startled myself. That's louder than I thought, little girl. She jumped around. All right, so we're going to. Yeah, well, it wasn't as loud as a regular yeah. This is a Husqvarna um, 435. That's my go-to saw. And this is the uh, Ultra Power uh, Greenworks. This has an 18 inch bar on it, but I think my Husqvarna has an 18 bar on it also. Maybe it's a 16. I don't remember now. It's been a while. But the Greenworks is significantly larger. I mean, just, I have the bars lined up. I don't know if you can see. 
because of the funny angle on the GoPro. But over here, it's almost a full handle width longer. And it feels significantly heavier than my 435. I don't have a scale to uh, run it, but according to the box I'm looking at right now, weight with battery is 16.9 pounds. So this brushless electric saw is effectively 17 pounds. I'd be surprised if the Husqvarna with fuel and oil is much over 12. Maybe someone knows, maybe someone has a scale that can measure it. Without me setting it on a bathroom scale, I can't really tell, and a bathroom scale is not really accurate. All right, I couldn't let it go. I had to grab the uh, bathroom scale. Let's see if this will even go this low. 17.6 pounds with a 4 amp hour battery in it. And a 455 Rancher. 17.4. All right, we're over here beside the house. Uh, our fire barrel is over here. The house is over there. Goat yard is that way. We have a gumball tree here that, well, it's going to come down eventually anyways. It's close. It just rained. So let's go ahead, take it down, trim it up, and throw the branches to the goats because they like gum. I guess we'll start small. Yeah, I know. That's that's the problem. I was expecting it to be lighter. Yeah. And I don't know why I'm setting these off to the side instead of throwing them into the goats. Well, other than this thing being a friggin' brick, as far as weight goes, it's like hauling a cinder block around. Cuts pretty good with a sharp chain. Apparently it doesn't like start, stop, start, stop. <laughs> Initial impressions of the 18 inch uh, Greenworks Pro. It cuts well, not gonna argue that. It's heavy, can't argue that. It is as heavy as my Husqvarna 455 Rancher. Uh, it's heavier than my 435, which is my go-to saw. So if you're getting this because you think a lightweight saw, something easy, throw on and go, it's not a lightweight saw. It's basically a full-size saw and weight. It is electric. One thing I don't like about it, where if you saw when I was cutting limbs, uh, it doesn't like start-stop. You do start stop too often, it flashes a red light for a few seconds and you have to wait. Uh, I almost think that that's a potential safety issue because you're going to think the saw is not doing what it's supposed to be doing and you're going to grab the switch and you're going to start fiddling with it and next thing you know, <clears throat> it turns on. Would I buy it again? Probably not the 18. I'd probably go with the 16 in all honesty, get the smaller saw. Uh, I hope it still fits on the ATV because, well, I got the rack on the back and that's what I'm going to be using for most of my cutting most of the time. But we'll find out about that at a later time. It should work better than an axe. 
and anytime I'm around the wood chipper, I'll probably have it with me. Overall, mixed emotions on it. It is what it is. Um, and full disclaimer, I'm not sold on electric everything. I think some things, some things are better cordless as far as uh, electric, like my DeWalt power tools. I love all those. Uh, most of those are battery powered. I have multiple batteries, same as the Greenworks here. We now have multiple batteries for two implements. Uh, I like that, but certain things, I don't think uh, electric is the best way to go. I wanted to try it. I've tried it. Am I, if it breaks, am I gonna replace it? Probably not. I'll probably go back to an ax and or the 435 and I'll probably still be using the 435 quite a bit because it's a lighter saw. Take it how you may. I'm trying to balance this as much as I can with pros and cons because if someone is truly interested in this saw, I'm not trying to sugarcoat it, but I'm not trying to blast it either. There's a lot of engineering that went into this and I'm not trying to blast any engineer. They did the best they could with what we have for technology right now. In the future, could it be better? I hope so. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And ooh, while, I'm, while you made it this far into the video, uh, you need to go ahead and check out one of our giveaways. We have a giveaway for a um, $500 gift card from Amazon or $500 something, depending on what area you're in. Um, you have to comment on that video on YouTube though. So go ahead and uh, if we don't have it linked here at the end, go ahead and find it. And so go ahead and uh, if you can find that video, if we haven't got it linked at the back, uh, go ahead and uh, comment on it because that will enter you into the drawing. That's our thousand subscriber giveaway. Um, other than that, hope you enjoyed the video. Bye. Seventeen point four. I don't think it's a hundred percent accurate. It's a bathroom scale. It lies to us all the time.